Hello, welcome to the Blessing Report. My name is Winston Mayo, the Average Christian Guy. And today we have a good topic for um, people young and old that I think will be a blessing to everyone. And that is, what is God's calling for my life? What is my purpose? What am I supposed to do? Now, this is only a hard question because um, so many people are in different stages in their lives, so there's a lot of answers. So I'm going to try my best to touch each one. So, last group I want to talk about are people... Um, that I kind of want to reach the most because I feel yeah. like I fit in this group in the past. And those are people who ignore the gift that um, God has given them. There's a lot of reasons people can ignore the gift that God has given them. But um, I'm going to point out like two categories. First, um, out of laziness and procrastination, you're not focusing on your gift. But also out of fear and doubt. And... Um, like I said, I fit in both categories so I can really relate. Now the first category, um, laziness and procrastination. A lot of people are putting off what they're supposed to do for God because you just ignore the Holy Spirit. You just think, hey, I have more time. I wanna bring something to light. People say you either use it or lose it, but I don't think that's true. When it comes to your gift from God, either Either you're being, um, either your gift is serving God and you're using it or you're being used. Now, I'm not trying to like scare anyone, but legitimately, if you're not using your gift for God, the devil is using it for something else. And I'm just trying to be honest, transparent. I'm just trying to be genuine right now. And um, I want to show this through an illustration in my life. So um, right now. You kind of see like the end product of me. I'm very personable, I'm outgoing, I'm well-spoken, I'm articulate. But that's like young adult college Winston Mayo right now. I haven't always done spoken word poetry and comedy. But in the past, I used to use my gift for evil. Like, I wasn't a bully, but I used to get bullied. And yo, you ain't, you ain't about to just bully me. Like, you ain't gonna clown me. Like, I ain't gonna respond. Now, I'm not trying to glorify um, doing wrong, but I was good in doing bad. Like, I was getting suspended. I was making people cry. But this was only through speaking. Like, my speaking ability and my ability to make fun and um, OD. Like, I would destroy people. I, I am sorry. I am sorry. I, I was so bad. But um, check it out. What? Don't wait for labels and the right people to sign us. What attributes, that's the word, ha! <laughs> the word attributes. What attributes made me gifted and doing wrong? You need stage presence, you need to be able to speak, you have to be creative um, in your insults, you have to have courage. Like, all these bad um, things I was doing, I was using good qualities. The qualities are good. And also, um, know this. Any aspect, like um, drug dealers, they're entrepreneurs, they're businessmen. They know how to negotiate. They know they're good with money. They're good with numbers. So um, th that is the point I'm trying to get across. That if you're not using your gift, you're going to get used. Now I'm not going to drain that into you. The Holy Spirit will convict as it will. It's it's talking to somebody. There's a reason you watch my video. There's a reason. Kevin Hart. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, final group of people. Um, so you have the category of you're lazy. Oh, well, you procrastinate or ignore your gift because you're just lazy and you just put it off. But some people are not using their gift out of fear and doubt. And I'm here to tell y'all that fear and doubt are like the most crippling things to a person's gift. Some of y'all, um, y'all are really receiving right now. And if you knew how in tune with the Holy Spirit you are, you'd be amazed. Like, you're listening um, to the radio, but you hear a song. Like, internally, you hear a song out of you. You're going to church, and you're listening to the sermon, but, like, you're receiving a sermon. You come up with ideas. You are coming up with business plans. Like, you, you look at TV, and you're looking at um, Fashion Week, and... New York City, and you think of some fashion, like you're receiving from the Holy Spirit, but you let your doubt and fear stop any progression. Um, you don't write these gifts down, and you just let the odds speak louder and you, um, occupy your mind. And it says like, 
50% of all new businesses fail in the, um, the first five years. So that stops you from occupying your business. But I just want to speak to and encourage you and to remember um, to be courageous and go out in faith. And also um, something else to encourage you is to remember that your gift isn't for you and it's for other people and to bless their lives also. So, like I was saying, I've been putting off this um, YouTube channel and making videos for two years, guys, has been telling me this. And check this out. This month, um, the year of 2015, five of my friends started YouTube channels. And I just saw that in the new year, and I was like, whoa. I was really inspired and, um, and I guess, encouraged, yeah, encouraged by that. So... Whatever gift that you have on the inside, go for that thing. You don't know those eyes that aren't watching. The people that are, I mean, <laughs> you don't know uh, the eyes that are watching. The ones that you don't know of. And remember, um, all your connections are purposely um, planned by God. Like, God has set up those things. There are certain people um, you're going to reach that I never have the opportunity to talk to. There are certain people in my my reach that I can talk to that you will never meet. Some people are not going to like my videos. Some people are going to feel my videos. So just know that there's a reason that you're in their life. So that gift that you have, you have to give it out so these people can meet you. And you can change your lives through the Holy Spirit working in you, through Jesus Christ, through God. And just also another word of encouragement, um, do not take the end product separately. So what I mean by this is that you see people performing or have a business or very successful and you think, oh, this thing just came naturally um, by them. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Like a lot of people have to overcome like their own personal demons. Um, and be a conqueror. So you also need to be a conqueror as well. I'm gonna let you know from my personal experience, I, my leg still shakes every time I perform. But people come up um, to me and be like, oh, Winston, you're so funny. Or, uh, oh, your um, poem was really good. But yo, I still get nerves. There's this one time performing in front of 300 people. I'm performing, performing. I look up, the light is so bright. Boom! Forgot my whole poem. <laughs> Boy, I only remembered one line and I had to play it off. I was just repeating the wrong line, like really feeling it, like I feel so wrong. I feel so wrong. Like <laughs> I was playing it up, but I just didn't remember. I'm waiting. Holy Spirit tells me the rest of my poem and I finish. But if I would have became discouraged, I would stop. And the people that came up afterwards, people were saying, oh man, I was blessed by your poem. I really am rethinking my whole life. Like, thank you. Like people were, some people were crying. Um, a few of my performances that happened, but if I became discouraged by the fear that I was feeling, those people's lives will never have been touched. And um, you have to go after your dream and your calling that God has purposed for your life in spite of your fear, in spite of your doubt, and trust God will show up. In that instance, God literally showed up and told me the rest of my poem. So that's what walking in faith. And um, another thing about walking in faith some people cannot bless you and elevate you if you don't put your gift out into the world. I so the Bible teaches us to be um, humble and meek, but for some reason, Christians don't know how to um, get in terms with like the blessing God's put on their lives or their greatness. But you literally need to accept what um, God's putting in you as great and you don't even have to be prideful about it because there's a way to give God um, give God the glory out of your life um, and accepting his blessing so if you receive a compliment be like oh hey Winston you're really good at comedy um, you're really funny be like yo Jesus makes me funny glory be to God boom point it to God so you have to be in a place where God can shine the spotlight on your gift you feel me so, perfect example of this. 
my friend was a talent agent. He is a talent agent. And he hit me up. He was like, Winston, I have um open spot. I need some spoken word poets. Do you know anybody? Um, and I was like, boom, instant. Didn't even have to think about it. My friend um, Cyrus, he's an amazing spoken word poet, artist. And God's using him um, through his um, poetry. But also the fact that he's always out, he's always performing, um, brought him to mind. So in that opportunity, God was able to use me um, to bring him to the forefront. So you need to put your gift out there so people are aware of it. And um, some of y'all need to move in faith. Like, go out and do something. Put put yourself in a position where people can notice you. So um, you can get to your next position and your next calling. Right? And um, Proverbs 18, um, 16 says this. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before a great people. So your gift will make room for you if people know about it. So some of y'all need to get out and just do it. And then the people will come. You don't have to um, market yourself. God's going to put those divine connections for you. And yo, perfect example. You see that drawing behind me? I'm an art minor and I received my degree in that. No one knew this. Like literally only me and my roommate knew it. And he knew it because I was a, um, he was an art major. But everyone always thought I only did spoken word poetry and um, ha, comedy, and I was a writing major because I didn't bring my gift to the forefront. I was I was very meek and humble and I shied away from it. But don't shy away from the gift that God has given you. My father um, helped me figure out my purpose in life also because sometimes you're too close to your gift. And you need someone from the outside to help point it out to you. My dad said to me, find something you love to do, even if you never got paid. And then figure out a way to get paid to do it for the rest of your life. So, that is the end of my video, everyone. We made it. I hope it was a blessing to you. And if it was a blessing to you, please share. Like, you don't know... Who needs to hear this? And if you think someone needs to hear it, send it to them. That's the Holy Spirit probably telling them that. And also, consider this. This might be your witnessing. It might be your evangelism. It might be your ministry. But also, remember um, to sign in to your Gmail account. And like me and subscribe um, to my channel. Because literally, that's the only um, way I get credit if you actually like on YouTube. Even if you're watching this video on Facebook. Go to YouTube for our young brother. Help him out. And um, subscribe so you don't miss any of the new topics. And just to get y'all ready for the new topics, I'm going to tell y'all a few. So this is what I have coming up next. It's not in this order, um, just so you know. Um, how to pray. Um, how do I hear God's voice? Why should I go to church? Discernment versus doubt. How do I read the Bible? Why am I not spiritually growing? The importance of testimony. And how do I follow Jesus and have fun? So that's what you have in store to look forward from me. And um, check back um, in every Friday for a new video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And hit me up on Facebook as a friend. And I'll send you to the Spotify um, page for all the gospel and praise, worship music that you're looking for. And also, I forgot this in my introduction video. All artists who want to send me your music. I'm only um, accepting music on YouTube. That's the way I'm working. So a SoundCloud account in the email and iTunes, that's not going to work for me. So I need that. And also, artists, if you're submitting um, music to me, I need you to have um, kind of a full album that you can submit to me. Not in one video, like several videos, but um, I need enough music to play in my videos. My videos are very long. They're a sermon. That word is good. I tried my best, like literally I tried my best to like limit the amount of time I'm spending on these videos and they are long. But So artists, I need you to have a full album on YouTube. Several videos. Hey, yo. 
I'm forgetting some. Oh yeah. Don't be whack. I don't want your whack music on my page, boy. Thank you. So thanks for watching the Blessing Report. I'm Winston Mail, the regular Christian guy. And remember, God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing today? I'm you, the same religion.